right in the cojones. Bam! Brady, catch! Ah! Don't think I won't do it. All right. What do you think our chances are? Of today? Yeah. Less than zero. I couldn't even oh, find the gas station on. that I drove right by, let alone uh, let alone a deer. We need to get sponsored by these guys. That's all I care about. Where, where, where do we start? If only somebody had a company that helped you figure that out. <laughs> After more than 20 years of chasing other species, I was excited to revisit my bow hunting roots and try my hand at late season rutting mule deer. Armed with some research, a couple of tips, and the optimism that all bow hunters depend on, I gladly accepted the time that my schedule had provided me. I had one evening, one full day, and one morning to drink in the beauty of the Idaho landscape and recharge my batteries. As my first evening drew to a close, I felt the welcome transition from life on the clock to life in the woods. Two. Oh, I can't hardly count yesterday as a day. Damn, what a beautiful morning. Holy cow. No matter what happens, we're lucky to be here. Lucky to be alive. my sandwiches just wait I'm gonna have to have another break here hope oh, there's a deer on the skyline maybe I better take this a little more seriously by the truck Yeah, we really are gonna have Brady pack my pack now because we're going to the top of the mountain, 9,000 feet in almost December. You think you could have uh, picked a better spot for that buck to be? No, I don't think it's my fault. I think it's his fault. He could have picked a better spot. We saw lots of deer in places and lots of does. He, he could have had lots of girlfriends right here on this ridge. He just likes those girls. Go figure. And literally, this when I put the spotting scope up, he, there was two deer in it, him and a doe. And there's like 40 deer on the hillside. I literally like, boink, like, oh geez, there he is. That's the one we came for. I suppose we should do less whining and more hiking. So let's get after it.
Am I misty? <laughs> yeah. Be honest, am I misty? I can see through the glow of the camera. I don't know how this is supposed to be an advancement in human technology when you decide you're going to sweat in November 20th. Because tonight it's going to be 20. <sighs> That's why they make a big backpack so you can carry extra layers. The thin air and hot sun had taken a toll on my patience, and I nearly blew the stock when I jumped a small group of does. At that point, I gave myself a bow hunter's timeout to wait for things to cool off. As often happens, the biggest buck had slipped away during our long approach, but another great buck was now tending the does, so with renewed focus, we resumed the hunt. So Brady, Brady just scared the deer. <laughs> Sloppy cameraman. Ah, just kidding, it was me. Fence posts. Well, actually, one fence post. That's Brady, and then I'm more like a like a lollipop. <laughs> Sometimes when I help with somebody else, even if it's a cameraman, I'll make decisions I wouldn't normally make. And honestly, I would have taken the lazy route about 15 minutes ago. I think the best thing you can do is actually just like sit down, take a break like soak in the country around you. Like it's almost like our little reboot. We're in the clear. These are gone. But the deer over where the buck is are still not they're still feeding, so didn't get completely punished this time. We're working our way down until we get as low as we can. Stay out of sight. There's plenty of topography here. I think we're gonna get within 150 and then we're gonna have to open and compete our way. inside of 100 yards for an hour or so but uh just they never did come I kind of ran out of cover well not cut down I totally ran out of cover I was sliding down a rock slide wide open well we got a almost a full moon and like a purple sky behind us gorgeous red sunset and we're at <clears throat> almost 9,000 feet I won't complain. We'll go eat another peak refuel. I don't know if I'm going to go beef pasta marinara. Not after the way I smelled last night. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle two in a row, but they're so good. By the time I get there, I'll want one. All right, let's do it, Brady. I thought I would come out and you'd have my food all cooked for me, Brady. Quick recap on the day. Booty spanked. <laughs> <laughs> Agreed. How's that? Dude, big day. Did probably close to 3,000 vertical feet. Saw probably 20 bucks. We made some memories, walked out in the moonlight. It was just an unbelievably awesome day. So we got tomorrow morning, and then we got a, I got a hot date with my wife for Thanksgiving. It's gonna have to be a 200 inch deer with drop tines tomorrow to uh, make me miss that. Otherwise, uh, we'll have to have just a half day hunt in the morning. Morning number two, half day number two. We're gonna kill a deer first thing this morning. 
this is what the optimistic brain says, but I'm gonna go back up here. We glassed a couple of pretty nice four point bucks yesterday and uh, see if we can get an opportunity to turn one of them up and put a stock on. Well, we didn't have to get far from the truck to find our first deer. While using the terrain to keep tabs on several batches of does, a nice four point buck appeared in the saddle below me and the hunt was on. I mapped out the quietest route through the buck brush that I could see and used it to separate a group of does from the lone buck that had dropped into the basin. As I eased over the ridge, I was pleased to see that luck was on my side. The buck we were after had been distracted by another smaller three-point. The terrain and vegetation prevented me from closing the distance further, so I found a level spot, ranged the buck, and settled in for the shot. In spite of the fact that I tried to will the buck to go down, he managed to make it out of sight. I felt good about the shot, but I knew that a methodical and patient follow-up were in order. You know, one thing I didn't account for, we get back out on this ridge, the wind's blowing a little bit. But we got on the saddle, there was no real wind where I was standing. But on the slope where he is, a little bit of wind pushing from right to left. So I should have held forward a little bit, to be honest. And I did think about it, but then, like I said, I got to standing in the wind, or with no wind down there. And it didn't even occur to me. There's a doe right down here where we last heard the buck run to. And she's still standing here, which is a really good sign to me. I don't want to get in those trees and poker him if he's, if he's not quite done yet. After carefully glassing the buck's potential exit routes for more than an hour, Brady and I began to collect the post-shot evidence as we searched for the buck. About four inches. From where it broke, but it could have been outside a couple inches too sometimes. It's getting bloody. Yeah. I don't like how little we're seeing at all. In spite of a slow start, the blood trail was improving rapidly alongside my confidence that the buck was nearby. Hey, this is encouraging. What's that? Look at that. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 Brady. Yeah, there's blood everywhere here. I was like, oh, this is encouraging. You know what's more encouraging? Right behind me. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, what a beautiful buck. Oh. Got a tip from a guy who had seen a bunch of does in this area in an earlier season. So we came up, stayed the night. The tip actually came from Hunting full member, which is one of the benefits of the hunting full membership. So, <laughs> what a beautiful deer. So happy. Yeah, I, I actually cut my teeth on mule deer bow hunting. Got schooled for years and years and years. I donated more aluminum to the side of the mountain. I could have started an aluminum mine with all the shafts I lost chasing deer around. 
anyway we're gonna get some pictures bone this sucker out get home in time for a hot date for thanksgiving <laughs> That's a QAD Exodus broadhead, and they are tough. But that is the far side. So I went through one shoulder, all the way through the shoulder, and busted through the main part of the big blade on the other side, just about came all the way. Good combo, the Razor Pro from Outdoor Edge and the QAD Exodus broadhead. Brady's got the hindquarters, I got the rest. Man, she's picked clean. We're going to grade into the basin and pick up that arrow just so we don't litter and head to the truck. 